Hi everybody, today we want to show you two um, new phones. On the right side we have the Galaxy S and on the left side we have the Asus Stream. And this phone comes in the market in the middle of the August at about uh, 549 uh, euro. So let's see the difference between this phone. Here we have a Super AMOLED screen, uh, 4 inch, and here we have a 3.7 inch display. Both device has 800 by 48 pixel resolution. Here uh, we have set the same brightness, and as you can see, we have the same settings, maximum size. And let's see the pixel resolution of the two screens. This is the Galaxy S and this is the ESA Stream. Let's see the weather animation. Okay, move on. Let's see the view angle. So, uh, now let's see uh, the benchmark test. To do this, we fast boot the, the phone, and as you can see, all the application is closed now, and we close all the application also with the task manager. As you can see, we have about uh, 200 megabytes free, and here 270 megabyte free of RAM, obviously. Uh, so let's see how much RAM the system see. In the Galaxy has we have 326 megabytes of total RAM, and in the Acer Stream 307. 9 megabytes of total RAM. So, so let's see the link pack benchmark. Okay. So let's run it. Run. It's a stream 7.2, Galaxy S 8.4. Relaunch. The same relaunch the same so this is the result let's see the screen test multi-touch test you know the galaxy has hasn't sorry the problem of the nexus one or desire as you can see all it's good okay Let's see the ASA stream and it's the same, so good, no problem, no screen issue, no lag, perfect. Okay, so come back and let's see the new core benchmark. So run the test, focus on. Benchmark exactly the same time, and let's see. Here we have a Cortex A8 processor, 1 gigahertz with Power VR GPU, and here we have a Snapdragon processor with 1 gigahertz clock. 
with a different GPU as well. So it seems that the Galaxy S is finished and has the benchmark 55.7 for Galaxy S and 25.9 for its stream. Quadrant test. We do a full benchmark and let's see how the result will be CPU, memory, I.O. file system write, data sheet, database seems that it's a stream it's faster in the database writers Okay, now the Galaxy has finished and run the graphic 2D and 3D test. As you can see, we have the frame per second. In here, we have 10 frame per second in the DNA. And let's see how many frame per second. Here we have 40 frame per second. Here, remember 10, here 40 in the same test. So, uh, let's see the result. Okay, we have 602.2, 602 for the S stream. Let's see better, maybe. I hope you read. Okay. And for the Galaxy S, we have 889 score. So, quite different for both devices. Both devices run Android Eclair 2.1. And here we have the touch width 3.0 um, UI and here we have the Acer Stream UI. Uh, in this case we have the uh, standard Eclair 2.1 uh, UI. So uh, you have the classical uh, Acer UI and not the uh, touch UI that Acer made for this phone. Uh, it's a simple um, settings that you can find into your application as you can see you can choose between two interface and if you press the yes or interface the phone will go to the system so okay instead we have the touch width 3.5 and as you can see it's very different ui here we have the typical iPhone Lancer, oops, sorry, and here we have the typical Eclair Lancer with 3D effect for the menu, the main menu. So that's it for this uh, little test with this um, UI, the Acer Liquid, it's a good phone and the Acer UI it's not very good, but with the Eclair UI it's very cool. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.